Okay, there it is. This is an eerily quiet menu. Like, really eerily quiet. <laughs> Shackles off him. Poor sod can't eat proper. Do you know? I'm not sure I like that. What if he runs for it? He's worth a heap of coin. Ah, bollocks. Been holding him awake, hasn't tried. I never knew how much I'd miss the Witcher cut cottony accents. Matter of fact, got to thinking. What did a sweet, gentle chap like him do to get the Queen of Zericania so riled? She's a shrewd, that's a Queen and Witch in one. <laughs> Worst of both worlds. Enough about her. What do you say to one more of your tales? While we toss down some cards. Ah, oh, why not? And since you mentioned one queen. Trading card. <laughs> Phone breaker. Witcher Tales. Hey, I'm all for more Witcher. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yes. <laughs> Bitch mode activate. Oh, I hope this doesn't involve mechanics of Gwent. Because I'm terrible at Gwent. It was literally a joke in our playth- It was literally a joke in our playthrough. Uh, how much our version of Geralt year just hated Gwent. War hung in the air, it sent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yamuga. In light of the threat, the realm sovereigns met in summit. They made... I have the art style, that's for sure. ...pledged fraternal assistance, forged alliances, and then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, Neve, queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Hmm? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was, not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ha. As the queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Meave's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem, run the Twin Kingdoms. Count Caldwell, a very... Normal sounding name in this fanny a bit fantasy world. Perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. Hey, he's got an orb like me. Hail, Your Majesty. Delighted to see you in good health. The summit it ended fruitfully, I hope. Okay, I was I'm actually surprised that they made his mouth move. Yes, at its end letters were exchanged, documents signed, paper. Time will tell of what value. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to ride out. Indeed, Your Grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. <clears throat> the strays of Sparla, the bandits, I was attend to during Your Grace's absence. Uh, the situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. Hey, you know that thing that you told me to take care of while you're gone? Yeah, I kind of didn't do that, and it's now it's now it's kind of fucked. Disappointed. I deliberated. 
wasn't at all certain in giving you the task. I knew you to be an equally good strategist as I am a shepherdess. So my intuition said no, yet Reynard interceded on your behalf. Your Grace, they're common bandits, while the Count will have a host of men-at-arms to command. Next time, I shall trust my gut. All right, speak. Damn. What has happened? Be precise. As your grace ordained, I set out and was nipping at Everything's the fucked, your grace. For long. We pursued for weeks until scouts returned, having sighted the strays camp in the forest near Lockeran. We waited for nightfall to surprise them as they slept. Uh, alas, it proved a ruse. We found the tent empty. Straw stuffed dummies around the fire. Soon, we learned that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away, rounded our positions, and ridden to Hawksburn. <sighs> Not Hawksburn. Anything but Hawksburn. I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. Oh shit, tax collectors. Not those guys. So the gold? All of it? Uh, it's stolen, your grace. But I shall do all in my power to recover it. This I vow. If it be your grace's wish. <laughs> you like her? Yeah, she's cool. I already like her. I just chose I just chose a choice that was one word disappointing and then she just goes off on a paragraph filled tangent about how much this guy sucks at his job. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> also, if it, if if any of the stories that I've followed that I've looked at over my 26 years of life have said anything, I'm suspecting this guy already. After weeks in the saddle, your grace's wishes are modest. A hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. <laughs> it's berate me more, big blonde lady. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Coldwell, I will now command. You, send a herald to Hawksburg. Be they must prepare for the Queen's Big arrival. Big woman. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. Do you see now, Reynard? I believe I foretold it would be thus. Oh, shit. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm. Yes. And very little time. Uh, Dude is, dude is either real short or she's tall. I have no idea. Welcome to the Thronebreaker tutorial. Before embarking on your adventure, you should get acquainted with the basic game mechanics. You can control your character using the left stick. Follow the cobblestone road to reach the next stage of your journey. Oh damn, I get to control things. Menu. You will expand your army throughout the game, but to do so, you must collect the following types of resources. Gold, wood, and recruits. While on the road, you can find useful items and even new companions who will support you in battle. You thought you would use the arrow keys to move? They might be used for something. If you don't want to miss anything, be sure to thoroughly explore the map and complete side quests. Uh, they, even they know the thing that most people did in The Witcher 3 was play side quests. Wood! And gold! Eleven recruits. More wood. Yeah, the D-pad doesn't do anything right now. Maybe in battle it'll do something. 
She wants wood, needs gold, and men. Oh my. <laughs> Milka, they stretched her over a fire till she told them where she buried her gold. Gross. Rather die than tell him she would. But I know where she kept it. Sit tight. Sketch it out for you. Okay. Congratulations, you found a treasure map. Search the area and you find the secret location marked on the map with an X. Alright. Miller's Bend. Oh, the Millers are bending something, all right. Treasure! You discovered a card that can be used in the Gwent multiplayer card game. God damn it. <laughs> right, right out the front front right the front porch, never expect that. Fuck Gwent. <laughs> you would have you would have loved our fucking Witcher 3 playthrough then, Sloth. <laughs> Cause we went through we went through that uh, ask Dingus the next time he's here. We went through that entire game, like, going out of our way to avoid Gwent. Like, we would just walk up to people, and as soon as we saw the Gwent option, we were just like, Ah! No! Get it out of here! Seeing someone's felled an old oak, which now blocks the road. Unfortunately, our wagons cannot go around it. How do you wish to proceed? Have the loggers sort the matter. Our soldiers should conserve their strength. Issue axes to the soldiers and put them to work. I don't know how the gold system in this works, so I'm just gonna... Use a dude. <laughs> but yeah, our... Me, Dingus and I's, uh, Geralt in our play in, in our playthrough attitude attitude which is literally just fuck Gwent like <laughs> Count Caldwell like I said, we went, at the we went head, out of our scanning way its flanks with a wary eye that despite his advanced age proved very sharp indeed your majesty bandits there at the tree line the Count's footmen, unaccustomed to escorting their queen, sought as to shield as, as soon as someone like, brought up the idea of Gwent, we just immediately so. lost respect They were them. promptly knocked aside as Meave charged headlong at the bandits, brandishing her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. Attack! Charge! May was convinced the bandits would flee to the cover of the forest upon realizing their grave mistake. After all, no ordinary bandit would dare attack the, ret the retinue of a queen, yet the strays of Spalot were a different breed. They held nothing sacred. <laughs> you have so much money on, you on your save you might just collect Gwent cards just to have them. I mean, that's pretty much all I did was just collect them just to have them. I didn't y I didn't ever use them. But, like, if the game is just gonna give them to me... Alright. Thanks, I guess. I'm not gonna use them at all. But thanks for giving them to me. Interesting. <coughs> oh! This is the battlefield. You will play your cards in the bottom half, and your opponent will play on the top. 
Units can be played on one of two rows, melee or ranged. But remember, the abilities of some cards may be different depending on the row you play them. A standard battle can last up to three rounds. The first to win two rounds wins the whole match. Players alternate their turns. During your turn, you can play only one card, but you can use any number of abilities. The player who goes first in a match is the same who initiated the battle. In this case, you encountered an ambush, so your opponent will have the first turn. Bigger they are, easier they are to target. To attack the queen, an outrage! The strength of each unit you play adds to your army's total strength. The player whose army has the most strength points at the end of the round will win the round. Some units have armor. Armor absorbs a certain amount of damage dealt to the unit. The men await. You must lead to begin the attack. Most cards have an ability of some kind. To learn more about it, select the card and read its short description. Additional information will appear if you press right trigger on the card. Lyrian Scytheman. Boost self by 5. Trigger this ability automatically when your leader's ability is used. That's what it looks like. Looks like an altered version of Gwent. Which is exactly what I feared, which is why it took me this long to download the game. But thankfully, that's why I chose easy bitch mode, so that I could skip battles. Damage an enemy by the number of cards on this row, including self. Play a copy of each adjacent unit from your deck. The time to Salt of the earth they are, your grace. They'd follow you into fire. You need simply say the word. Scythe will have the loyal ability. This means that there are other abilities are activated every time you use Maeve's ability. Each leader has its own unique ability. To learn what it is, just select the leader. Maeve's ability allows her to boost the unit's strength and add armor to it. She can use this ability once every few turns. For the longest time, you didn't know how to change the difficulty on Gwent. Now you can actually win matches. I still can't win matches, even in easy. Card games are just... <laughs> pretty... Card games are not for me in the real world, so like I barely understand poker. Pretty much the only card game that I understand 100% is blackjack, and even I don't know all the rules to blackjack. So I can barely understand our like real life actual card games. So fantasy card games inside of an already convoluted video game, yeah, not gonna happen. <laughs> To use Maeve's ability, first select her, then select one of your units. I shall teach uh, you to respect the crown, you dogs! You cannot make any more moves. It's time to end your turn. Press and hold Y. <laughs> Play any card. The Arbalist's ability allows him to deal damage equal to the number of cards on the row where he is played. His ability is activated the moment he's played. To end your turn, press Y. You kinda want a real life version of Gwent? I'm sure someone's making it up right now as we speak. Look out! See cover! We are bombarded! Your opponent's cars also have abilities. Be sure to read their descriptions carefully and adapt your strategy accordingly. Whenever an enemy takes damage, boost self by one. Move one unit to the row opposite this unit and damage it by one.
A lesson in humility coming now. Count Cardwell's ability allows him to summon from the deck copies of the cards that are adjacent to him. Uh, his ability is activated the moment he played. <laughs> this Sweet. took ten and run. <laughs> yes! Our victory is assured! Sound the horns! May they sing praises of this triumph for ages! When you have played all of your cards, the end turn button will turn into a pass button. When you pass, you will not be able to perform any actions until the start of your next turn. To end the last to end the last turn of a round, press and hold Y. The player whose army has the most strength points at the end of the round will win the round. In the event of a tie, both players will receive a victory point. The battle's not yet done. It is better to conserve our strength. Prepare for a strike that will prove decisive. It's, uh, per our conversation a minute ago. Per our conversation a minute ago, pretty much the only reason that I that I kind of also kind of want a real life like Gwent deck is literally just to have it. Player who won the previous round will play first in the next one. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Literally just to display, yeah, same. Give me a tap. Ever have a stone knock out one of your teeth? You've won two rounds in a row, which means you're the battle's victor. Congratulations. I congratulate you on your latest victory, Your Grace. The bandit stood not a chance. Hooray! I beat the tutorial. <laughs> Woo! Matters seem indeed to have gotten out of hand, to put it mildly. Meave said, arms crossed atop her shining breast. When it comes the to Gwent, bold. that is a victory in itself. That was after the raid on the manor, the tax collectors. I've not heard of an ambush on the high road before. Caldwell explained, avoiding his liege's wrathful gaze. Enough, Caldwell. We must put things right. Come. The Queen's retinue set out, cavalry in front, infantry and arbalists close behind, and, following in the rear, the bandits, bound in chains. The main issue with you and Gwent is... You're too aggressive, the game doesn't like that. Yeah. It's, def it's definitely one of those, which is... Probably one of the reasons why I also can't do it. Because it's like, I want the most strength out of the gate that I can get. And it's like, okay, yeah, go ahead and do that. Place your strongest cards on the on the table immediately. And I'm like, yeah, slap, slap, slap. Awesome, I had the most strength. Now what? Now play two more rounds without those cards because they're now in the graveyard. Fuck. <laughs> That's also why I was terrible at Yu-Gi-Oh. As I, uh, as I said, pretty much any I card game that isn't prophet. just straight, just 21 yes. blackjack, I'm just like, Lydia, uh, the Pearl of the North, with its hills and depth, card, I don't think, no. beauty matched only by that of its queen. After three weeks in the saddle, I've my doubts, Count. We shall pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. A spell of it they deserve. Okay, wait, I take it back. 
Blackjack and Uno are the two card games that I know how to play. Because <laughs> they're easy to understand and they're simple. Except apparently Uno has some like really confusing ass rules now according to its Twitter. Which the collective people have just decided to just ignore because it makes no sense. Pitch your camp by press pitch your camp by pressing select. Hey, we literally pitch tents. Cool. Whenever Maves around, someone's pitching something. Apples to apples. Okay, apples to apples is pretty fun. And I don't know how I forgot Cards Against Humanity. Three card games that I know how to play and actually enjoy. Blackjack, Uno, Cards Against Humanity. That's about it. <laughs> camp buildings allow you to expand your army and give you access to important information. Most camp buildings can be improved in your workshop. These improvements will give you access to stronger units, thus easing your journey down the line. Enter the workshop. Here you can improve and build and improve camp buildings. To improve your camp buildings, you must first collect the appropriate quantity of gold and wood. For your journey, you'll definitely need access to a regional map, but to get it, you will first need to improve your royal tent. Upgrade the royal tent to level 2. Thanks to this improvement, you now have access to the regional map, which, can op which you can open from the main game screen. The workshop itself can also be improved. With each subsequent improvement, you will gain access to new, stronger units. Go to the command tent to view your army. You do like playing cards against humanity, but you mainly play card games with family. And it's not a family friendly game. It is if you have the right family. <laughs> In the command tent, you can create units and build your army from available cards. Yeah, I remember from our conversations. Improving this building will increase your army's recruit cap, allowing you to use stronger units. Which again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Living with people who don't have a funny bone in their body can be very excruciatingly painful. The cards currently in your deck are displayed on the left hand side. All cards available for you to create and place in your deck are displayed on the main screen. You can gain access to new cards by upgrading your training grounds and workshop as well as through certain story related tasks. Grayed out cards are available but have not yet been created. You must first create them before you can include them in your deck. Your deck must contain your deck must contain at least a minimum of 25 cards while not exceeding your army's recruit cap. Currently, your recruit, your recruit cap sits at 125 points. To create new cards, you need a particular resource. Recruits. You can gain recruits at conscription posts, which are marked on the map with a helmet icon, as well as through certain story-related tasks. You receive additional resources to recruit a Wagenberg card. To do so, select the card, press X, and confirm by pressing A. Add Wagenberg to your deck by selecting the card and press A. You can now view and create new cards, or return to the main game screen to continue your journey. Mm -hmm. 
They're just not a fans of dark humor or loot shit, so you only played it once with a bunch of online friends. <sighs> Again, as I said, it's excruciatingly painful sometimes. Just like, uh, have you never heard of a joke in your life? You can now take a look at your other camp buildings to familiarize yourself with their functions, or you can return to the main game screen to continue your journey. The mess tent. You can talk with your companions in the mess tent. Give them a little bit of your time, and you may just learn a secret or two. So the thing that the Witcher is best known for, the dialogue? A bit of respite, Reynard. Uh, yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any... At ease, Reynard. At ease. This dude is old as fuck. <laughs> Don't you find it wearisome sitting alone? Wouldn't you prefer another's company? Swapping tales with the innkeep, even. Your concern, I most appreciate, Your Grace. But I prefer silence. Has it always been thus with you? Ever a man apart? Quite the contrary, Your Grace. As a youth, I gloried in company. Delighted in conversation. So what was it that changed you? That delight nearly cost me my head. But do you truly not know the tale, my lady? How I came to be your departed husband's aid? Not exactly a reason to stop, I don't think, but to each their own, I, I guess. But would gladly hear it. I had but twenty winters behind me when I enlisted. Yet I was granted the rank of lieutenant from the start. Not by merit, but by birth. The respect of veteran officers, both my peers and seniors, that they could not grant. Nor did I deserve it. To earn that respect became my driving aim. And to seem wise beyond my years, I began spouting off about the King's decisions. This maneuver Reginald botched, that he failed to think through. And yet elsewhere he'd blundered like a schoolboy. You're also calling it now the next Witcher game is going to be Siri Protag? I mean, for people who uh, played the games, at the other games before 3, that's probably where they hope they're going. But they were... They said that Geralt's story is done in The Witcher 3, I think. And I kind of see Siri as also, even though Siri has her own story and had her own moments in three. They w that they can do that because they prove that they could do it in three. And just make it a bit more complicated than what her gameplay sections in three were. But uh, I don't know if they'd go straight to Siri. I don't know if they'd do that. I think they. I mean, more than likely they would, considering unless, considering unless you read the book, you didn't... Most people wouldn't know who Siri was. I mean, I don't know if they mentioned Siri in the, uh, the first two games, because I haven't uh, played a lot of those games, so I don't ex exactly know what the story in those is. But I don't remember hearing about them mentioning Siri. So I think the only time that we Siri, see Siri in the games is in 3. But yeah, either the, either they're going to make Siri the main character and uh, have it follow her adventures. Or 
even as much as I like theory. The thing that would probably interest me more is if we looked at the stories. Uh, they looked at the, look at the stories of some of the other Witcher schools, like Griffin and the Bear, and some of those schools. Me be, me being like the Witcher Lord nerd that I am, that would be what I'd be interested in a lot. But yeah, I'd play a Siri game. You mean like Yennefer as the main protagonist? I don't know if they do that, because the Witcher's always the Witcher's always been about uh, melee combat with some slight magic stuff with the signs. I don't know if they'd go with a main protagonist that's full magic. That'd be a bit weird. I mean, if they did it right, it'd be fine. But yeah, go, going straight, going straight from. Uh, I mean, they made this game, and they made fucking a uh, Gwent a separate thing, so anything's possible at this point. But we still need to get past Cyberpunk. <laughs> Cyberpunk still needs to come out. Because they said they're not focusing on anything Witcher, Witcher related until Cyberpunk is done. Well, a brilliant strategist Reginald was not. They dubbed him the courageous, not the cunning, for good reason, I dare say. It was not long before I was clanking about in shackles. Another officer had reported me. I was charged with Les Majesty. It's going to be another ten years. That's what it feels like. Because I heard someone, I heard someone mention a thing. Uh, I was listening to a video game podcast earlier, and hope I hope to God, he's not right. And I, I, I didn't. The only CD, the only CD project game that I've really had the honor of playing was The Witcher Three, so I wasn't around for their previous games so uh yeah he, he said like knowing what he what knowing what knowing cd project red like you think he knows cd project they've already delayed it to the point where it's like oh this is convenient timing for uh the new consoles And I guess it's also kind of unfortunate that I kind of listened to his opinion because I like him. Uh, according, to, according to him, it's pr t it looks to him like the game is not going to release anytime this year, like maybe early next year. But in, in his opinion, it seems like the game just constantly just keeps going through development cycles. Which I hope to God that's not it. I hope the game the comes Marshall out this year. A quarter of an hour to deliver verdict and sentence. I was guilty of treason, and the noose awaited me. It's probably the only. Th it's probably the only thing for me. For me personally, that will probably make 2020 somewhat better. But Reginald first stayed the execution, then ordered that I repeat every word I'd uttered about his person or deeds. Soaked with sweat, my voice cracking, I did as he ordained. Reginald listened, raptly and silently, and when I'd finished, he declared I was right. He then appointed me his personal aide. A clever lad like you, I can always use at my side. Indeed. Though hardly sharp himself, wisdom in others Reginald both recognized and heeded. It was then I swore two things. Firstly, never again to wag my tongue like a fool. Secondly, never to betray his trust. And you never did. Know what he told me moments before he passed. Trust none of them, Meave. Save Reynard. 
The old sod was right about that, at least. Ah. Uh, so it was. Okay. Oh, uh, hopefully that's not the case. I thank you for sharing that tale, Reynard. Truly. Alas, I've come to fear villain might simply not be cut out to be a king, let alone a good one. I think one of the re I think one of the reasons why I'm not exactly too uh too worried uh, I if I would I would very much like to play the game this year, but even if they do delay it to somewhere after the new year, I don't think I'm gonna care. Mostly because I have so much faith in CD Projekt, even though even though unfortunately they too are crunch masters. So that's unfortunate. But when when it comes when it comes to game companies that do crunch, I'm I guess the way I look at it and the way that I like make it sound better for myself so that I, so that I just don't say that I'm just buying a game because I want it to come out. I buy the game, yes. Yes, me buying the game will support the company that made it, published it, and whatever. But I'm also buying it to support the people who actually made it. Like the people who were crunched. Because me, as a consumer, that's really all I can do. I mean, I could also, you know, just not buy the game, but... I don't want to do that. <laughs> a harsh judgment, Your Grace. Let's not be hasty. But that's my the opinion on that whole thing. To him. Yeah, hopefully. And and also also one of the reasons why I have so much so uh why I'm so faithful is because I remember I think seeing like one trailer for The Witcher 3 when and it originally grown. The crown he should be able to bear out. at his age. I saw one trailer. And I was like, oh, this is a, a thing. And I didn't really pay too much attention to it because I was focused on other games at the time. And then I, and then I think there was a, that one of the commercials talking about how many awards it won after its launch. And I was just like, oh, this game again. Okay. And then I was still focused on other games, so I was just like, put that out of my mind. And then one day going through GameStop, I was like, oh look, this Witcher game that I uh, saw those two trailers for. How much is it? Oh, that's not really that bad. Oh yeah, sure, I'll buy this game. This game looks good. Looking on the back and reading the description. Holy shit, I did not know what I was in for. And I've been in love with it ever since. So, a game that I hardly paid attention to at the start turned into one of my favorite games of all time, so I have pretty good confidence in CD Projekt. Yet I left the land in his care for but a few months, and look what's become of it. Bandits roam and loot unchecked. We might yet learn of mitigating circumstances, events beyond his control. Would that it were so, Reynard. Would that it were so. Elsewise, we must hope Anseus will demonstrate more wit than his brother. Though I see little chance of that either. It's time I attended to other matters. I must go.
What's in the royal tent? You see them doing one more delay? Yeah. After if they if they do do one more delay that it would have to be the last one to keep to keep to keep a lot of other pe to to keep the majority of people interested. Oh, where did that come from? From what I understand, a bug came up that they didn't know was there before they needed more time to patch. In the royal tent, you can view the letters and maps you've received so far, as well as keys and card fragments. The royal tent can also be accessed from the main game screen by pressing RB. Which is the same reason Witcher took so long. Yeah, I can see it. Apparently one story I also heard was that um, during the development of Witcher 3 uh, there were two there were two directors working two different people working on uh, how Geralt moved and uh, they both had different ideas on how Geralt should control but they didn't want to talk to each other about it so while the other one wasn't looking they would change the way Geralt controls in the game without telling the other one and it got to the point where the other one literally was either fired over it or quit which is why a lot of people say that Geralt controls like shit but I don't think that he controls that bad But that's just me. I'm just... I just play the video game. I'm not a real... Uh, I'm definitely not an expert on some of those matters. No, most of those matters actually. Both of these sound good, but I can't do it right now. You think the reason the Ger Geralt's control is one of the reasons why you love the game so much? I mean, yeah, I didn't. I didn't have a problem with it. I mean, I just thought I thought it was weird that B was jump, but. Eh. I've had weirder controls. I didn't really notice it that much. That and the fact that I played the game for so long that I just got used to it. Open up the map. Your primary task is marked with an exclamation point. To see what awaits you, scroll through the map by using the right stick. Oh, shit. Okay, this is a pretty sizable map for this kind of game. Damn. Granted, a lot of it we probably can't go to. And a lot of it's probably just decoration. But still, for a top-down card- for a top-down card battle game, this is a pretty sizable map. I mean, granted, uh, map size doesn't mean everything, but...
Okay. Maeve, do you think you could, like, run a bit faster? Or is that an ability I'll learn later? That was the wrong button. I'm used to select being my map. I've played too much Ori. They showed Katana gameplay for Cyberpunk? Okay. I had heard about it. But I've been doing stuff all day, so I haven't had a chance to actually watch YouTube that much. So I'll check that out after the after the stream. Cause that sounds great. Is this what I pay taxes for? To be robbed along the high road and in broad daylight, no less. Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rice, why I'd have gone round through Sodden. They told me, they told me, Lyria's a wild land, lawless, chaotic, a damn disgrace. Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rice, why I'd have gone round through Sodden. Okay, you're just a complainer, man. Damn it. I'm used to the map being select. You hate that the handle of the katana is this awful baby blue? I mean, well, cyberpunk, cyberpunk means neon. Sometimes certain colors in neon just aren't the best. Baby blue being one of them just doesn't look right in neon, in my opinion. Your army's morale can change. Neutral morale has no impact on your cards, whereas low morale lowers each unit's strength by one point, and high morale increases it by one point. The army's current level of morale is displayed by an icon in the upper left corner of the screen. Changes in morale depend on your choices throughout the game. To increase it, make an offering at a wayside shrine. But remember, after victorious battles, morale returns to neutral, so you must always keep an eye on it. Gods of mercy! Whatever is this filth? Necrophages. Drawn here by blood scent. For such vile monstrosities to prowl the high roads of my realm. I won't allow it. Attack! It should, shouldn't we, like, you know, call the Witcher? Maybe? I don't know. Just a hunch. Isn't this literally their job? Who were these travelers whose bodies now litter the roadside? They had a look of pilgrims who found misfortune after crossing paths with the strays of Spala. The bandits had slit their throats, leaving the bodies to rot under the sun. They'd likely have known the stench would attract the tension flesh hungry scavengers, thus exposing their passage to a horrific death. Clearly this realization hadn't bothered them in the slightest. Oh, valley of plenty, oh. That song had no reason to be that good. A trophy is a unique type of card. It can have only one in your deck at a time. The trophy will automatically appear on the battlefield at the beginning of the match. Fog in broad daylight, with the heat positively sweltering. Have we to do with some manner of sorcery? We shouldn't exclude the possibility, my lord. And great caution we must exercise. Your rows are now covered in fog, which is just one of several row effects you will encounter. Row effects. Row effects affect all cards on a given row, and can have either positive or negative consequences. 
Later on, you will also gain access to cards that allow you to add similar row effects. Raylid, what is this? Some spectre? A striker? I can't be sure, Your Grace. It's the first I've seen of any such... thing. Cut a foglet? You know, I think I think we talked about this in our in our playthrough on the, on stream, but maybe, just maybe, maybe monster teach, maybe that people should be taught about monsters even if they're not a witcher, just so they know what to look for, so they can run the fuck away from it when they see one. So that witchers constantly don't have to clean up their mess. It's just a hunch. Maybe we should put these books to good use. Instead of being like, oh, that's witcher material, that's not for us, that's disgusting bullshit, leave it alone. I'm just gonna go over here into this pile of creatures that I don't know what looks like, and I'll probably die. It's fine. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. But yeah, that's that song really didn't have didn't have the right to be that good. Just like the first episode of Sword Fight didn't have the right to be that good. These carrion eaters. I know them. Appeared on my estate last spring, enticed by the corpses of those of my sheep that fell. Harmless at first. I've watched I've watched that, that is, scene just by guts. itself. I can't to count how many times. Then. Use Fortitude Tonic to boost the strength of one of your units. Uh. Holy damn. True. But they bleed just as we do. Onward! Slay the filth! Yeah, but they don't bleed as much as we do. Kill the ghoul. Song's good. So I don't exactly blame you. To the beast before they had a chance to gorge. Funny, fu the funniest part about it, I think, is that the show is that the show and Geralt himself mentioned that not only it was the song there just to have a song and have it go viral and for us as watchers to sing along to it but it's also in universe too like just walking around it's like oh they're singing that damn song again damn it dandelion why did you write that damn thing <laughs> or whatever the whatever the hell the bard's name was in in the show even though it was even though even though everyone know even though everyone knows that it was fucking dandelion just call him fucking dandelion god damn it that's who it was and you're not going to convince me otherwise i don't care the trophy will stay on the battlefield 
between rounds because it has the resilience ability. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I read like a, like an interview or, uh, or something where they said, yeah, we based, yeah, pretty much this character is, pretty much this character literally is Dandelion. And I'm just like, well, why didn't you just name him Dandelion? Just name him Dandelion. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Who cares what his name is? Other than me. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Please do not tell me it's because Dandelion sounds feminine. Fuck that shit. Maybe some bullshit naming rights. I mean... Uh... Sapkowski... Sapkowski was, grace, kind, of, was kind of being a... They fill their bellies, man. A bit of an ass this before the show well. came out. Oh, no. No, well at all. So maybe? I don't know. But yeah, like if you like if you go back and read the books and stuff, the character in the show literally has filled Dandelion's position. So it's like, so they made Dandelion. So just call him Dandelion. <laughs> or maybe, or maybe the name of the character in the in the show is like some sort of like secret alias that he used in like one of the books or one of the games that I don't remember that I have never seen before. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Laria! Keep using that ability because it's very working. Yes, I know what I said. As steers they've Fuck. grown, and they show no fear. <laughs> Frenzied, my lady. It's bloodlust. They lose all instinct to survive, feel no pain, whatever. I've witnessed this before. Your Majesty, we must give ground, fall back. We can't win, must minimize our losses. Just like Maeve, each enemy leader has a unique ability. Using its ability, the enemy leader destroyed your strongest unit and threw it to his necrophages as feed, which has made them much stronger. My queen, there is no shame in seeding the field when fortunes turn sour. Maybe Dandelion is just a nickname, and that's his real name in the book. I don't know. Maybe. I haven't read. All, I haven't read a bunch of the books, unfortunately, so I don't exactly know. If a round isn't going your way, it might be best to pass your turn and save your strength for the next round. But remember, you can pass only at the beginning of your turn before you have played any cards or used any abilities. Pass now to keep your cards for the next round. Maybe. Remember, losing just one round does not mean defeat. To win the battle, you must gain two victory, victory points. Victory must be ours now. We shall not retreat. Arms at the ready. Attack! Look there. Yet another abomination. Uh, right, fiends. That stench. My assaults. Where are my assaults? Also, be careful to be away from it before it explodes. You only read some manga and webtoons because books have too many words. Is that like just like a personal preference or do you have like a like a reason? To get things started, play Wagenberg on the melee on the melee row. The ability of this card becomes more powerful with each additional unit that is played on the same row after it.
Cars that have the order ability can be activated manually at any time you choose during your turn, but only after enough time has passed since placing it on the battlefield. The icon at the bottom of the card will indicate when the ability is available to use. During your turn, you can activate any number of cars that have the older ability. Ah. Okay. That's fair. I mean, it kind of... If I, if I look at it... If I read for too long, too, it kind of does that to me as well. But, as I've said in previous streams, I'm a stubborn bastard, so I usually just push through it until it gets, like, unbearable. Most can be only used once, but the older abilities of some cards can be activated multiple times in a battle. Like, I'm one of those, I'm one of those people that, like, li when I first started reading, like, really into it, I would, like, re I would read in until, like, the sun went down to the point where multiple times my parents have told me, hey, stop reading in low light, you'll hurt your eyes. And I'm like, but I don't have any other light sources. Yeah, that makes, that makes sense. Play an Arbalist on the melee row in order to take advantage of Wagenberg's ability, which adds one armor point to the unit. One bolt's all I need. Use Wagenberg's ability. Reynard's ability allows you to reactivate units whose order ability has already been used. As a result, you can use Wagenberg's ability once again. Her Majesty is exceptional. has run out of cars and you have a sizable advantage. Your victory is assured so you can either pass your turn or play out your glorious triumph to the very end. Give me a time. had the chance against us. Victory is ours. Huzzah! You've somehow defeated monsters that only a witcher can defeat. Congratulations. Meat? Really? The pictures give so much more context to what's happening. Saying pictures were thousand words. Yeah. I'm just one of those people with an overactive imagination, so. My beloved, please ride as soon as you reach the temple. I know only two weeks have passed, but my heart weighs heavy with thoughts of you. Our home feels empty without you. I hope our offering, though modest, will please the Mother Goddess. With her blessing, we shall have a child at long last. I've no doubt you'll make as loving a father as husband. Please be vigilant and return to me soon. Forever yours, Vrilka. I don't think that worked out like you planned. 
Which means I can skip lines of dialogue. Eh. As I said, I'm one of those people with a, uh, an overactive imagination. So, like, it's gotten... T it's gotten to the point where whenever I watch, like, uh... Like, books that are turned into movies. I'm like, if I've read the book that the movie's about, I'm like, disappointed when the... Disappointed whenever the characters that they've designed to look in the movie don't look like what my mind uh, thinks Many they look like. We fell, my lady. Might you have need of them? So? Take whatever your heart desires. They call themselves strays. Well, we'll treat them like, it's like strays. Uh, it's like it's like the art, uh, the the artwork, the fan art of uh, characters of the Percy Jackson series versus the official art of the characters in the Percy Jackson series. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. In my mind, they're like, they're all, uh, they look like this. They look like essentially almost like anime characters. But then the official art, they look like, they all look like just like short little gremlins. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's disappointing. <laughs> which is also why I don't watch. Which is also why I'm very wary about one of the reasons I'm very wary about watching movies that are made from that are made from books. Discovering signposts unlocks the ability to fast travel, allowing you to move between them at any time from your regional map. Hopefully not the same way that Geralt fast travels. That's too many gr that's too many buildings that are destroyed there. with that. Have you seen them? They fangs, snouts, horns like a right proper nightmare. Your Majesty, I beg of you, thrash them bandits, please. Scared to step out into me own fields, I am. To raise an hand against the queen. These hounds are nothing sacred. Another problem with books is that you need you read too fast that your mind can't keep up with it. Constantly go back and reread lines. Yeah, I do. I do that too, but it's mostly because I get distracted by something else. So I'm like, where was I on this page again? Fuck. Read the next start of the previous paragraph. But yes, I've discovered that, uh... I've, dis I've discovered that re that reading is not for everyone. So but that doesn't mean that you have the right to, uh, the men to give it shit there, just they because... Found standing at attention, baking under the blistering noonday sun. Just because it's something you can't do. Further adding to your frustration to books. Yeah. To each their own. At least, at least you're getting the. At least you're getting the knowledge and taking it in to some degree. At least you're act actively trying to understand them uh, understand something's material and you're not just like oh I don't like doing it so that means that it sucks your majesty count Coldwell I like audio books too but I don't know I just I just feel like that audio books are for like certain certain times 
and I just can't figure out which of those times it is. So I just buy the book. Just because that's what I'm used to. Stand at ease, Sergeant, and report. The local peasants we've rounded up in the yard, Your Grace. I expect they might have lent the bandits aid. Yet our courtesy hadn't inspired them. They haven't peeped a word. Yeah, this one I would listen to him too. Long car rides, but... Yeah. Might it please your grace to summon the hangman? He ties a noose for him, should have him jabbering right quick. I don't know what it is. I'll speak to them first. Your Majesty, for the Queen to question commoners, why, it's simply not proper. Whom for? I shan't be stripped of crown. How about go fuck spirit. yourself, no Caldwell? Do I see? Lead me to them. Bow low for your sovereign, Her Majesty, Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia. Have mercy, Your Grace. We bear no guilt. We simple folk. Calm your hearts, good folk. Though your queen I may be, you are subjects, not slaves. Meave extended a hand, the royal ring gleaming upon it. Unfamiliar with protocol, a pleb gripped it firmly and gave it a shake as hearty as a good scrub in the tub. <clears throat> that was My. a line. We shall be addressing one another by name before long. This is an outrage! Guards! Grab him! I've all in hand, Caldwell. Just Forget a handshake. Me, I'm not accustomed, no. Nonsense. You have a firm grip, a spry handshake, and a bold spirit I can respect. What do they call you, man? Helmer. Son of Florence. Delighted, Helmer. Now understand me, man. I am in dire straits and in need of your aid. So please, answer my queries in full and forthrightly. The bandits, whom do they follow? They follow an asshole. Him, my lady. We seen him. They follow. No name, just an odd title. The Duke of Dogs, they call him. Ah, oh, so he is an asshole. Cool. My, a blue blood thoroughbred mutt. Where are he and his hounds bound? Did he say? I recall, Imogen? What do you name? A Gleaton or something? Clayton. Lord Clayton. His estate lies to the south. Sound the horns. Have the men form up. We march at once. Milady! I'll be no eye for the Duke. He's a good man. Gave us proper brass for the welcome we gave him. Shared what grub he had. Yeah, I've gotten to the point where I just think, I just think I'm an old man set in my ways. Or even even though I like, uh, I will listen to audiobooks and I respect it as a medium. I just and people and I and thoroughly like for people to use it because that's them getting the the information in a way that's accessible to them. It's just I. I, I've been reading words on a page for so long. Like, since like kindergartens that I'm just so used to it that I'm just like... <laughs> it's just, it's essentially like... The ep completely out there uh, comparison. It's like the episode of Top Gear where they... Uh, put cars on the train track uh, and in order to drive it they just have to press the gas pedal 
and they don't have to use a steering wheel. So they're like, uh, they, I, they don't know what to do with my hands because I'm used to it being on the steering wheel because I'm in a car. That's how it is for me with audiobooks. I'm just like, I'm listening to it. But I kind of want to be able to read it. <laughs> so I'm like, I, 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 I don't know. I'm just weird. I guess I'm the opposite of I guess I'm the opposite of that way then. Shut it louts. The queen's on her say. Your grace, your orders. What are we to do with them? Mostly because for me, if I'm having to listen to something, if my daydream is intense enough, then I can just tune it out and I'd be like, "Huh? What did you say?" Versus if I actually, you know, look at it on the page and read it with my own eyeballs. It stays in there more. The choices you make will have consequences. Some may be felt immediately, but others may take time. Choose carefully. Leave them be. The harvest draws close. Hard work. They'll have their hands full. Mostly disjointed. Yeah. Oh, my lady. Thanks be to you. Thanks be. I pray Mother Melita may watch over your kind heart. Well, I'm, gl I'm glad there's a way that... I'm glad there's a way that you can access the... Uh, the material via audiobook. Or whatever way to access it you choose. <laughs> so you're like, the fuck did I just read and why did I read it? I was a lot like that in school. Pray she watches over yours. Should I hear of you sheltering bandits again, of you lying to my officers, I shall return and put torch to every hut, field, and orchard. Understood. Meave set off toward Lord Clayton's estate at a gallop. Her mouth not my morale went down. As it kicked up a Fuck cloud you guys dust. too. The folk of Hawksburn spoke of the royal visit long after, albeit ever behind closed doors and in hushed tones. Oh, that was the wrong choice? Fuck y'all. <laughs> More wood! Notice boards are a great source of information about what's happening in the area. Clicking on them will cause markers to appear on your regional map, showing you where to find places of interest. What is this, Reynard? Bandits attacking royal tax collectors. In broad daylight. They shall pay dearly, your grace. They shall indeed. And not only they. Rot has crept into Lyria, Reynard. My kingdom has been poorly kept. You're gonna hate me, Sloth, because I don't. It mostly depends on who I'm being a dick to. Like, if I'm being a dick to bandits or some shit, then yeah, that's fine. I just don't want to be a dick to, you know, everybody. And people who don't necessarily deserve it.
well, as I said, you're not gonna like me because no. <laughs> your Grace, two of your subjects humbly request aid. Yarplik and Wilmer, they called themselves. Seems the wagon axle snapped and they've need to hurry to the market. What are your orders? Summon the camp overseers, have them see what can be done. A few pieces of gold should suffice. That boosts my morale. I don't want my people mad at me because I made the wrong decision. Which again, fuck y'all. <laughs> my queen, a stray of Spala was found inside the dwelling. He was wounded during the siege on Hawksburn, then abandoned by his comrades. The location of their spoils He's offered to share. Just spare his life. <sighs> Fine. I want my men to like me. I'll kill this random son of a bitch. Granted, he was a stray of Spala anyway, so who the fuck cares? Oh yeah, if I have if I go through all that, then yeah, the thing's dying, but I don't want to be. I don't. I don't what want it, it to be. Look out! I don't want to be. An, I don't want to be a dick unnecessarily. It totally hasn't got me killed by guards many times. In a flash, Rainer let for me, wrestling the queen, wrestling the queen from her saddle. He had arrived a moment later. Had he arrived a moment later, Meve would have met her fate under a massive boulder. Alas, she was not yet free from danger. Uh, the entire escarpment had begun to collapse into the road, along with the temple wall that stood atop it. The screams of crushed and dying soldiers cast a somber shadow upon the queen, yet she needed to collect her wits and act quickly to establish control over her unit. Shortened battle. Some battles are subject to special rule sets where strength alone is not enough to win. To be victorious, you must complete specific goals. On the exploration map, such battles are marked with a puzzle icon. In this particular puzzle battle, your goal is to destroy all the boulders before they reach Maeve's the realm. The crumbles! Fall back! Save yourselves! Your grace, the wagon, we can use it as Save cover. Save yourselves! Forward. We must move it forward! Summon your comrades, damn it! Chop chop! Before I reach for my whip! Now you want to play Witcher again? <laughs> do it! How do you think I've got how do you think I've gotten through most of my uh how do you think I've gotten through most of my days off? <laughs> Just constantly play The Witcher over and over and over. <laughs> Mostly because it's like, alright, I'm gonna play a playthrough. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm kind of... I guess I'm kind of weird. Because whenever I get the cankering to play Witcher, I can't just play it once. I play through one playthrough getting like one type of armor and playing it a certain way and then I'll play through another one on New Game Plus and then do another armor set and then I'll just keep doing that <laughs> like alright this playthrough I'm gonna use I'm gonna get the griffin armor and then the next playthrough the New Game Plus playthrough I'll get the bear armor Then maybe if I have the hankering, I'll play another playthrough, getting the cat armor. Just 
just weird like that, I guess. Play an herbalist on the melee road, then attack the boulder closest to me. Give me a time. Play another herbalist on the melee road, then attack the boulder closest to me. Note the herbalist deal damage equal to the number of units on their row. Herbalist, your command. This time, the Arbalus will do enough damage to destroy the boulder on its own. I'm a monster. The wagon! Use the wagon now! <sighs> We've come through, Reynard. I thank you. Hooray! You just started your... The walls of the temple First collapsed. New game plus save on PC. The fortress is doubtless damaged by something. Or someone. There's nothing we can do here. We ride on. Other good thing about The Witcher 3 is that The Witcher 3 is probably one of the only games that I actually like to play New Game Plus on. Mostly because it changes just enough to be interesting, but it doesn't completely go all the way out there to be annoying. Those are up on the hill, so I'm not getting those yet. Yeah. Well, honestly, personally, I kind of... As we have discussed before... As you probably could have uh, figured out for yourself, I kind of like to be completely and totally overleveled. Because I just like being able to, for this, like, see this big giant monster that has, like, its own cutscene. And it's like, Roar, I'm going to kill you. And then you just one slice it in its leg, and it's like, Oh, you've killed me! I, uh, I like that. I'm very much in favor of that. Eh, I don't want to do that yet. I mean, no, that's that's the great thing about that's the great thing about The Witcher. Is that the area that you start in? Uh, you do all of your, you do all of your exploring, and you're like, "Oh shit, that thing has the red skull on it." Nope, see ya. And then you go, and then you play further into the story, and then you get to a good stopping point, and then you go back and you kick that thing's ass. That's what I like about it. I don't like I don't really necessarily think that the forward progress thing you do should be like the one shot blam blash. I'm defeating you just by looking at you wrong. Not the forward progress, but like previous areas that you can go back to to get all the question marks. Yeah, fuck it.
keep pressing the wrong button. The map button is why. Learn that, for Christ's sake. This isn't Ori anymore, god damn. <laughs> the map button is why, not select. Get it through your thick skull. Resources! Now what? Okay, I have to go down there. That is my mission. So, we're going up here. I kind of wish I could set waypoints. Ah. You always forget the, uh, the Radovid quest line. Yeah. That's because... It's because, like, you do the Radovid thing. Or you do the quest leading up to the Radovid quest line. And then it's just like, ah, don't worry, we'll get around to it soon. And then it doesn't show up until like three quarters of the way a through the game. Cart, loaded with a heap of hay, came rattling And by that point, you're just like, "What the fuck direction. is this? What are you talking about?" I never Bellow talked to that Count fat Caldwell son of a bitch about anything. Make way for your queen! The peasants obediently turned their cart into the roadside nettles. As she passed, Meave glanced towards it, and froze. Atop the hay bale lay a badly wounded man, gripped by fever. The thick, sweet stench of rot wafted from his bandaged legs. Gods. Who did this to him? Meave asked. Bandits? Nay, nee, milady, replied the cartman. Tour a beast. Uh, did you mean do you mean the shield sign? Out to the east, down Wetterton Way, lies a boneyard, old as the elves, they say. The peasant continued. Uh, Cretan was setting snares round about there. Came running back to us. Drenched in blood, rattling on about a long-haired wench come climbing out a grave. Who's taken him to the good sisters of Melitale here on bridge? Perhaps they can help him. I'm certain they can. And will, replied the Queen. Though just looking at the wounded wretch, she knew he'd expire before nightfall. God speed you on your journey. The Queen whistled, and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, Your Grace? <laughs> Caldwell asked. One of those freaks yep. should make short work of the monster. Until we apprehend the bandits, I shan't allow a single soul to leave our company. Even on such an important mission as finding a witcher. Meave replied. Any who did would be captured at once. But, if fate brings us near Wetterton, perhaps we'll see to this monstrous harridan ourselves. Your Grace? We've only just fought beasts and scarcely escaped with our lives. This she-beast will take a silver sword. Magic formulae. Yet a dozen arbalists will have to suffice, the Queen said, calmly but firmly. And please, Caldwell, do stiffen your spine a bit. Now onward. Here ends the main part of the tutorial. From now on, you're on your own. Good luck. Good luck. I mean, good luck. Achievement. Where you can find farm for the mutagens. If you do, let me know, because I've never been able to find one. I always constantly either run out of reds or greens. Blue is like plentiful. Like you'll never run out of fucking blue mutagens if you do shit. But like red and gre red red is like some one of the hardest mutagen types to find. Never have enough <laughs> 
You never find red. Like I guess I think I think red is probably one of the rarest mutagen colors to find. Pay homage to the gods. You shall be rewarded. Militale watches over us all. Yet you do well to remind her through supplication. There is ever time for prayer, even as war rages all around. New markers added. Okay, yeah, so I can definitely tell that those puzzle fights, if I continue to play this game, would be like hell on my nerves and my ability, so I'm probably going to avoid those for the time being. Battle. Okay, let's go see what that locked item is. Oh, it's just a gate. Alright. Trying to do the DLC extra perk tree th thing, and you need a shit ton of mutagens. Yeah, that's that's usually how I encounter it. Like you you save up a shit ton, like hardly ever use it for anything unless it's like really important. And you're like, okay, I think I've gotten enough to do the thing when I get the uh not fuck was barely got through, barely just enough to get the level one. Shit. <laughs> Mutagens. What's up, fuckers? Traveling the high road, they heard the bells of a temple to Mother Melitale, situated at some distance. Meave turned towards Reynard. What have we today? A sacred feast? Not that I recall, Your Grace. The Queen's brow darkened, her hands clenched into fists on her reins. Then they sound the alarm. Follow me. Yeah, that, that's why it's really, when you, when you do, do get enough, you just fuck, I don't have enough perk points. <laughs> that's why I don't really focus on the DLC extra mutagen stuff until my new Game Plus playthrough, where I have a shit ton of points saved up from when I filled up all the points for what I wanted and then don't use anymore. So like, okay, this is for the new Game Plus playthrough. <laughs> Stained glass shards glinted in the grass. Bits of down, ripped from quilts, wafted through the air. The priestesses, gathered in the yard, were seeing to wounded pilgrims, setting toppled, oft beheaded or armless statues back on their feet. What happened here? The strays of Sparla fell upon us. Sighed the prioress. Stole the offerings, the monstrances, holy books. My lady. I implore you, come to our aid. Recover what's rightly ours. Ever clever, Meave scouts soon discovered the bandits' tracks. They led to some thick hazel groves east of the temple. The perfect place to hide or to lie in ambush. Or to fuck. It's all come clear now. Sabotage. It was the bandits who weakened the walls. Those goddamn bandits. Ugh. Don't worry, everyone. Just like Dutch Vanderland, I have a plan. But never ask me what that plan is because I never plan it out ahead of time. Which probably shouldn't be called a plan, but shut up. My plan is to not have a plan. Also known as flying by the seat of your ass. Your Majesty, ass. turn back! There, something wicked lurks. Ghosts, sweet! <laughs> the dead, as they rest, are disturbed. Something digs up their graves, opens their tombs. 
Ghost? Sweet. Majesty, turn back. There yeah, fuck you. Something... Oh, I hear Rotfin gurgling. Somewhere. Motherfucker just gnawing on an arm. I mean, I get I get that you need to protein pound, but I don't think you need to go that far. Just eat a, just eat an egg or something, dude. You don't have to You don't have to eat a human arm for that. That's just it's just a waste. God, I'm gonna I'm gonna waste so much of I'm gonna waste so much of my gold just sending out scouts to find other map markers. God. Uh. You're basically at the point where you might add a new sign to your build with a bunch of more slots. Eh. I upgrade Igni, of course, and I upgrade Ard, and then I'm pretty much set for my playthrough. And I'll, I'll level up. I'll level. I'll level up the uh, the mind fucky one, Axie. I'll use that one. I'll upgrade that one to the point uh, where I can get the dialogue part, and then I just ignore that one pretty much. And then I upgrade the shield to uh, to where it's viable, and then I'm just done. Yeah, I, I, I upgrade it to the point where I get the active shield to where it explodes whenever it dies. And then I'm I'm just fucking good. Because pretty much the only things that you have to use Quinn on are like big enemies and boss enemies. And you don't really uh, encounter those that often, so. Glitter upgrade is so good, it can heal you. Yeah, I know that. But I just, <laughs> I just, uh, I just, uh. upgrade uh, my combat and my agony to the point where it's just like why do I need to heal whenever nothing's alive? Why do I need to heal whenever nothing's alive and I have a dodge button? And yes, that makes no sense considering that Considering my stance on it before, but in the Witcher, but in the Witcher, I am a, I am for dodge because the only people that you can actually parry in the Witcher Three are human enemies. But pretty much every other enemy, monsters and such, you can't parry. So when I fight, when I fight monsters, I mainly dodge, and when I fight people, I block to do counterattacks and kill moves. Which is probably one of my only gripes with The Witcher 3. Wheel ruts. The strays, no doubt. They must be nearby. Is that a fucking fork tail down there? Okay, yeah, I know where I'm not going. Fuck that noise. Anything?
something interesting in here. The ravaged statues of the good mother, how dare they! Your Majesty, the priests of Melitoli implore you to leave an offering. The mother goddess smiles upon those who bow before the altar, they say. Leave a gift of gold at her feet. Sure, I'll get it. Get that card piece. Then even when you do fight people, sometimes you still dodge. They rush you like mad. A man on steroids. The ravaged statues of the good mother. How dare they! But yeah, as I was saying, that's probably one of my what one of my only very tiny gripes with The Witcher Three is that humans or and humanoid characters are the only people that you can do uh, kill moves on. Because how how awesome would it be to see Geralt like do like a fucking execution move on a monster. Can on small monsters? I've never seen it, unless you talk. Unless you're talking about the, the uh, the, the, the execution where you just stab them into the ground while they're laying down. I don't count that. Time heals all wounds, they say. That memories fade. That night. That the nightmares would end my pain, and my pain would cease. Yet eight years have passed since I left the world behind. Not but prayer, confession, and reflection. I wonder still how my life might have been different had I refused that last mug of ale. Had I noticed the child, had I pulled back on my reins more quickly. I prayed for forgiveness once. Now I pray only for an end. May it come swiftly. I've never... Uh, if... If they do exist, I've never seen them. Somehow. Like, I'm talking about, like, where, like, like, the camera goes all cinematic and dramatic, and then he, like, you see him do, like, the flourish move. Yeah, those are what I mean. Like on the humans where you like de de detach their limbs and like, you know, decapitate them and shit. I want that shit, but on monsters. Oh yeah, I've done it, I've done it to the point where, uh, where I've, cause like there's one attack that he can do where he just like, kind of lunges and thrusts forward. And I've got, I've, I've kind of, uh, <laughs> done it to the point sometimes where I'll do the thrust move and then they'll just blow in half for no reason. It's just like, all right. Like, I'll just like poke them and then they're, they'll just like split down diagonal and it's like, pfft, okay. I didn't know that thrust was that powerful. The best one I've seen, I've, uh, I've thrusted someone's legs off. Where I go like, hey ya! Uh, and thrust them in the chest, and then their legs just go, Pff. What the is this? The had pitched camp in a nearby wood. Spirits buoyed by the wine they'd stolen from the cloister cellar. The brigands had not posted sentries. Another round! To the sisters! <laughs> Neve's soldiers were eager, insistent. The desecrators would be punished. Yet only the Queen could order the assault.
High time we put these strays sure. on a leash. Spat the queen, spurring her horse. Two arms! Follow me! Tankards clattered to the ground as the strays reached for their weapons. The brigands would not even fathom giving up without a fight. Had the brigands chosen to hide in the dense forest the to station a guard, this battle might never have come to pass and they might have slipped away with their prize. Alas, they were drunk on victory and confidence. Or perhaps... Perhaps the gods, thirsty for vengeance on the blasphemers, had dulled their vigilance. Prevent three gold wagons from escaping. <laughs> the boss fights in Witcher 3 are fucking amazing. You think you're doing some fetch quest for XP and then suddenly big ass tree monster? Yeah. On that topic, Leshens are fucking goss are fucking awesome. At the beginning of a round you can redraw up to six cards. Get rid of the card from your hand that you don't wish to play. Uh, the purple ring sign, Earden. I hardly ever level up Earden, except to get the ones where you can, like, hold right trigger and plant it. So it can, like, send out, like, electrical shocks to things. But that's about it, because Earden is really, really, in, in my personal opinion, only really useful on uh, specters, so I don't really use it that much. This harvest will be reaping black clad hands. Looking to dance, mate? Give me a time. Oh, you've got armor.
Pick them up. High as the clouds. Now! You can try to win them all, but you won't. You can pay the toll in one of two ways. In silver. Regroup! Oh yeah, they're definitely annoying. I'll definitely give you that. Left, right, left, right. in his pockets or his own <laughs> oh, it was. Shh, cock it. Oh, they have a spy. Fuck our asses, moving. Yeah, I knew that was a bad idea. Queen's company defeated the bandits and recovered the loot. I like Silver the skip chalices, battle option. Reliquaries lined with mother of pearl, gold embroidered robes. The priestesses would be hey, I defeated to have their them, guys. Returned, your grace. <laughs> See they how bad I defeated for your victory. them. Reyna opined. <laughs> Yet, you could also keep the silver, expended on the war effort. And who's to say which, prayer or coin, would be more useful? Hard times the realm now endures, the Queen said, after a pause. Yet this can't justify a lapse in principles. No. We must defend them all the more. Meave ordered everything returned to the priestesses. All of it, down to the last Gulden. Moved by the Queen's gesture, some of the novitiates joined Meave's ranks, aiming to bring succor to any Lyrian wounded in battle. Queen and company rode off with no gold to show for their toil, but most certainly richer in spirit. Sure you can bind a rabid dog, tie his four legs together! But you'll not stop him from lashing out and biting. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna do that from now on, more than likely. <laughs> Cause I am a fucking bastard. Play it maybe a play it maybe like two or three times the the real way that I'm supposed to do it, and then the rest of the time just <gasps> skip. <laughs> Why? Because fuck you, that's why. Your Majesty, the strays of Spala slaughtered the entire village. Witnesses claim folk had refused the brigand's aid. Have we the coin to give these poor souls a proper burial? Sure. <laughs> what a what a great game to play to celebrate the 4th of July. Excuse me, don't mind me, Mr. Forktail. I'm just coming to get some stuff. Why can't I open the locked door from the other side? Is it not curious how priestesses so earnestly implore others to put their faith in the goddess of protection, yet surround themselves with walls? Nine feet tall, nearly three f thick, made of solid stone. A better guarantee of safety than even the most fervent of prayers, no doubt. Given the area in which they choose to erect their temple, this is probably for the best. It's a shame that you don't have any friends that play it. I have a friend that plays it. He liked it so much to the point that not only uh, did he print out the fucking symbol of the church and he now has it inside of his case on his phone. But he's like, yeah, I'd follow him if he was real. Can't play with strangers, oh that sucks. I'm coming, I'm coming. page on Steam is filled with people asking for co-op. I can imagine.
You could also play solo. S play Just Cause 4 because guns. <laughs> ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Far Cry 5 is more American. Yeah, it's definitely that. Keep calm, Tiberius. This harvest will be reaping black clad hands. One bullet. Won the round through sheer brute force. Holy Jesus Christ, I actually won a round of Gwent. <laughs> Give me a time. Tell me you jest. Can't take it anymore.
Her Majesty is exceptional. I wasn't going to buy Far Cry 5 at launch at first, but you watched the stream, saw one of the Clutch Nixon missions that was like, shut up and take my money. <laughs> I was never, I never, I never, I was never able to get that too much into Far Cry. to your command. I've played a lot of them, like I played, I've played 2, 3, and 4, I was just never able to get into them. Yeah, that was one of the things, probably. It's also, even though it's a... I'm uh, a it's also why, even though it's a very small gripe, it's also why... Uh, it's also one of the reasons why I still have that gripe about Link being silent. For uh, Zelda, army's a waste of time for one like me. It lacked the interactions with the main villain. You were just kind of sitting there listening. Of me. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. Whoops. <laughs>
Yeah, that's... That's, uh... That's another, re that's another reason why I, uh... I was disappointed that, uh... That it turned out that Cyberpunk was gonna be uh, My spirits in first person. Oh, but these dumb boots are killing me. Cause like, game, especially games with customization. Maria! I feel like if it's as deep of a customization as Cyberpunk is supposed to be. Then how about maybe let me see my character more than, you know, once ever. I think they're doing the thing like, uh... I... I think they're gonna do a thing like where, like, certain cutscenes are gonna be third person. But I think that's the extent of it. But I kind of wish that they—I kind of wish that they just do the thing. Yeah, I don't. I just, like I said, it's not—it's not my personal preference either. Yep, yeah, exactly. That's what—that's what the people on the uh, the podcast that I listen to. That's what they said. They're just like, just do the Skyrim thing, where you can click the button and do both. But I guess... I guess that would require a lot more... work? I have no idea. I am not a game designer by any sort of measure. So I don't know. Yeah, I think I may if this if this uh gameplay is any indication, I think I may have found my new uh chill stream game. Yeah, it's unfortunately a bit too far in the development cycle for that. Of course, with the whole, uh... With the whole skip battle thing, I could still play it. I could still play it for stream. It's just that a lot of people probably get mad at me by the end and be like, Stop skipping battles and play them right! And I'd be like... No. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. A fucking... You're not really paying attention anyways. What, to the game? Because, like, the, the card combat and shit is complete and totally fine if you don't pay attention to it for me. But, uh, when it gets to the story stuff, then you might want to. As I said, it's still more Witcher. Okay, at least that. If I go in here, am I gonna go st Yep. It's 
she's a beefy lady. Meave stood on the banks of the ba of Badger Run, a modest river strong with a strong current and dark reputation. Fishing boats overturned, clothes ripped from the hands of washer wives, children playing on the bank swept away in a flash. The locals have long suspected that something malicious resides underneath those raging waters. Yeah, they're called drowners. They suck, and they're stupid, and they're gross. <laughs> You'd let her beat your ass. Try to win them all, but you won't. Jesus Christ. Yep, skipping that battle. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hate drowners, especially when you're just trying to get that one underwater chest. Yeah. Ooh, a treasure chest. Well, a treasure map, I should say. I wonder where it leads. I wonder where it could be. Let's head to that point of interest. The crossbow fear is useless. Unfortunately, the crossbow is the one thing that can hit, kill things in one hit when you're underwater. Uh. Sometimes, not all the time. Chicken! <laughs> Excuse me? You've discovered a card that can be used in the Gwent multiplayer card game. Lippy Goodmund. Woo. <laughs> the only time it's somewhat useful. I mean, uh, whenever you're fighting griffins and certain flying monsters that do like a like a dash attack they kind of have like an animation cue before they do it so like whenever they like start flying toward you and you hit the button but you can either use the crossbow and do it that way or you can throw a bomb at it and do it that way or you could use ard which is what i do just switch to art and just poof it right in the face before it gets to you. And it's just like, Ugh! Then burn the fuck out of him. Yep. Bonnet turn that. Just the folk of me on shite. After wet a tonight. Yep, sounds about right. Burn, bitch. Burn. <sighs> My lady, the locals claim a treasure is hidden within the cave. We can send a small detachment to learn what the truth there is to the rumor. I must admit, at first glance it appears rather treacherous. I can't guarantee everyone will return in one piece. If at all. This rumor, we shall put it to the test. Have two men, have the men draw lots, see who among us shall go. If we're to trust the word of a peasant, we'll venture into every cave in search of a dragon and its mountain of gold. 
Eh. I mean, it's just two people. <laughs> Need to get some better bombs. Honestly, bombs are one of the thing. Are pretty much bombs. There's one of the things that in my playthrough that I upgrade just to have, but hardly ever use. That and uh, decoctions. I pretty much hardly ever ever use decoctions. But I make them anyway. Like, I'll get to, like, a point where I'm like, I should... Gotta... Gotta find those ingredients for those decoctions, and then they just sit in my inventory. <laughs> As they neared Wetterton, the Queen ordered her company to halt. She then sent men to the town for supplies. Those sent returned more quickly than she'd assumed they would, their satchels empty, their mounts foaming at the mouth. Your Majesty, the townsfolk have gone right mad, herded all the elves and dwarves to Market Square, to the slaughter. The Queen knew well that if she failed to intervene, You love tossing a bomb into a group of bandits and then they pop like meat balloons. Just as yeah, it sounds like it'd be satisfying. force might not subdue an enraged crowd. What Defend the non-humans. Raynard's question pierced the silence. What can it be, dear friend? Answered the queen, then spurred her mount and rode off towards the town. Her troops followed, running as fast as their legs would carry them. When they passed inside the town gate, they saw corpses lining the gutters. Meave realized she had arrived too late to prevent a tragedy. The crowd... All right. Unfortunately, this was not Lyria's first pogrom, nor his last. Although the wars between humans and the elder races had ended decades past, elves and dwarves were still painfully aware of how quickly rumor can turn to hatred. It does not take long before pitchforks and flails are taken to the streets, and the cobblestones are stained crimson with blood. How exactly was I supposed to win that, naturally? Happily, Meave restored order without suffering any losses. Raynard then learned that a nobleman's ire had triggered the violence, ire at having discovered a theft. Suspicion fell on the non-humans he employed. He accused them, they protested, <laughs> and the row soon engulfed the town. You need to play The Witcher 3 now. <laughs> but there's something else you grace. Yep. Raynard gestured towards an Sorry man about that. who stood <laughs> grieving. His face in his hands. I've witnesses who claim the strange spoiler of the thieves. Though the tragedy seemed the result of a misunderstanding, justice would have to be served. Those responsible for the slaughter would need to be punished. The question was, how severely?
Your excuses Fuck I it. cannot accept, said the queen. The vipers who called for the slaughter, they will hang. You've chosen one evil in favor of another. Majesty! A townswoman fell to Meave's feet. Mercy, please! Were words the condemned were hanged at once, without regard to the protests Oops. of kith and kin. Those non-humans who had managed to hide and survive made a most generous donation in gold to bolster the Queen's force. I'd like to say... Oopsies. My bad. Well, I, I guess I guess Sloth got their wish. I'm being an asshole. <laughs> Not on purpose, but mostly because I'm stupid. It was just like, yeah, fuck it, hang him. Oh shit! You hanged good folk today, ma'am. And for what? Because they came to the end of their tether. Hey, whoops. Not bad. I saw it. I'm new to this game. I don't know the ways of this thing. Oh, well, it's just a video game. Is that a grave hag? What the fuck? One of the destroyed graves belonged to an elven mage. We might find something of worth, but we would first need to de dedicate sufficient resources to have the debris cleared. Let's see what you're all about. The Lyrians entered the graveyard. Crickets chirped in its tall, windswept grass, and lush green moss covered its crumbling gravestones. Only a fresh bloodstain upon a mausoleum wall suggested that something disturbed the dead in their rest and hunted the living. Save your tears, throw off your grief. An eerie voice Gross. sang, its ghastly lament standing Meave's hair on end. Stop, so don't do that. your life too shall cease as you pass into the eternal glow. A pockmarked, pustule ridden creature crawled out from behind some gravestones. It vaguely resembled a shriveled, hunchbacked hag, until its head split into two halves, forming a tooth-spiked maw. Attack! Every what exactly was the monster Meave encountered at the cemetery? The inhabitants of Wetterton called it a mourner. They believed it to be a she-elf driven mad after her children were killed. From time to time, she would return to their graves and to light candles, lay flowers, and make an offering of human blood. It's called a grave hag. Again, earlier, as I said, maybe some of this Witcher, this Witcher book knowledge should be taught to normal people, just so they know what the fuck they're dealing with. I get the feeling that I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this one.
my spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Okay, I didn't even have to fucking do anything. All right. Can I have more of those, please? What? What was that filth? The queen croaked hoarsely. Can I just have more of those with the game just like, yeah, agony. just die. I know not your grace, replied Reynard. But to be safe, I would have the corpse chopped up and burned. Elsewise, we will not be certain it shall not return. Yes, have it done, Meave said. Yeah, burn that Brushing shit. her hair from her beaded brow. But quickly. Lest dust catch us in this foul place. The Lyrians soon resumed their march. As they left the cemetery behind them, some believed they still heard the haunting dirge upon the air. Or was it just the wind whistling past mossy tombstones? This card has been added to your army. It can be found at the command tent. Sweet! In the command tent, you can change Maeve's equipped weapon, thus changing her ability. To do this, select Maeve in the upper left corner of the panel and place one of the available cards in your deck. Move a card in your deck to the top and strengthen it by three, then trigger all allies' loyalty abilities. Ooh, that does sound useful. Ah, uh, no one new to talk to. I love how even though it's technically not the Witcher, I'm still treating it like the Witcher by wanting to do all the side shit before I move on to the main story. <laughs> Granted, I don't know exactly how much that helps a uh, a game like well, this. Well, <laughs> seems humans are near the same after all. Well, nothing left in Witcherton for me now. Close me shop and share the road with you. Huh. Okay, I got a recruit out of that. I guess that's fine. Increase the number of trinkets Maeve can equip to three. 1500, 500. For a uh, game between 25 to 75 gold for every battle won. One recruit after every battle won. Workshop 2. Hmm. Guess I had to get that one first. Oh, 
I'll wait a bit longer. Is he holding a Pomeranian? The fuck? Da 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 da. Bandits on thy road round dawn. Those that call themselves the strays. Those bandits, dressed as demons they was, horns on their heads and pig snouts instead of noses. Draw, uh, dressed up as idiots, more like. Yeah, uh, they're just they're just really into you know like dominatrix stuff. It's all right. Sloth being really nice and posting a how to farm red mutagen video into the chat or into the discord. I appreciate it very much. I will use that. Come the next time that I get to that point. Which, considering the fact that I've also just restarted uh, a play, a personal playthrough, ain't gonna happen for a while. But it's nice to know where the video is. Uh. Your Grace, a traveling merchant has stopped in the village. He's invited you to have a look at his wares. For which he has promised modest prices. Yeah, I have a shit ton of wood. I need gold. Gold. Turning into gold member. I like gold! I like to have gold on my person. A 
essentially the way I look at it, once it stops being useful, then I'll stop. <laughs> but so far, having a lot of gold has proved useful, so it's what I'm gonna do. Points of interest. New markers and shit. Puzzle fight over there. Another point of interest. Anything else? Nah. Do 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 do. Where did I, where am I? Where did I go? Where am I at? Okay, I'm right here. Milady, the march has taken its toll on the men. A brief sojourn at this end would do them good. Nothing improves morale quite like live music and a frosty mug of Viz Vizim and Champion. You got that right. Plus, they're like really mad at me right now, so I need this morale boost. To the or to cross this they really, really, really didn't like the fact that I hung all of those innocent people. But what are you gonna do? Off to the nuptials, ma'am. Or to cross this bridge here, then ride on straight as piss. Uh, an arrow. <laughs> the greatest line of dialogue I've ever heard. Alright. We've twiddled our thumbs long enough. I mean, we could do it longer, but... You spy that column it's been like... God damn it! Make haste! <sighs> bastards! As the Clayton escaped Doing bastardly from things. behind a tree line... The Queen and all in her retinue knew at once they had arrived too late. A veritable swarm of bandits milled about the yard. Who have we here? Not take a gander, lads. The Queen herself is deigned to come and see us. See you, then kill you. <laughs> the strays Go, of buff Sparta. Lady. Tis you who lead them. Tis you they call the Duke of Dogs. Aye, tis I they dub so. And in other pleasant ways. Prince of Pariahs, Thane of Thieves, Baron of Brigands, and Marquess of Mendacity. Who did you voice in The Witcher 3? Your voice sounds Colourful really familiar. Colourful titles all, yet you omit one. Come on, cutthroat! I beg your pardon and cry foul! I am anything but common. You needn't get excited, Caldwell. Oh, that's Where that's gonna Lord bother me Clayton? the rest. Of, that's gonna bother me the rest of this Sadly, to find out my Lord until I find out who us. he is. Turned us away, you see. Denied us hospitality, a sacred right after all. Angered the gods mightily, I expect, as he promptly met a tragic end. Fell in the well and broke his neck. And fell. I've heard enough. Two arms! Attack! Da -da 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 -da. Meave's soldiers were seasoned warriors. They had served him in many campaigns, fought on many fronts. Still, the strains, the strains of Spala caused them great unease. The brigands, howling like, like wild dogs, did not fight with ordinary sword nor spear. But with executioner's axes, boards with rusty nails, and instruments of torture. Their faces concealed behind ghastly prison masks. Surround Gascon with powerful units. Alright. that drink down.
Her new ability is weird. <laughs> Got any vessels? Hungry like a wolf, I am. Congratulations. I smell a leak. Damn. Again and again and again. Shh, cork it. We must trust each other. Keep calm, Tiberius. Give me a time. Did not do that. No time for that. Tell me you jest. Go, hop, hop. Yeah, yeah. 
what that does. I'm probably screwed. They won that. Bravo, your grace. Well played. I don't know if it's the fact that I chose easy, easy bitch mode or not, but I'm having way more fun with this than I am actual. Gwent. I can't say the same for you, I fear. You'd have done better to die in battle. Bound for Lyria now, where the hangman will have his way with you. Splendid! I've ever wished to see the capital. Quite certain of yourself, you seem. Many a four you have braided nooses for me, your grace. Yet as you see, my neck's straight as a pike. My threats are never hollow. And if it's an escape you weigh, well... Hello. We've yet to see any man <laughs> abscond from the dungeon to Liria Castle. I'd hope so. For to be known as second just wouldn't be worth the trouble. Ugh. Take him away. As soldiers <laughs> placed the Duke of Dogs in shackles, Ugh. there was a sudden commotion. A messenger rushed in, sweaty, gasping for air, smelling of smoke and blood. His gaze spoke terror. Your Majesty, Graces, Nilfgaard's crossed the Yoruga. Black-clad hordes. <sighs> Villages burned. Oh my god! Oh, Nilfgaard. Not Nilfgaard. God help us. Not those fucking bastards. Marks for Dravagrad. Prince Willem, he can't hope to arrive in time with aid. Damn help it, Amir. Us. Calm your you shit, must. please. Dravagrad. Blast it all. Listen close, soldier. You're to take a fresh mount. Ride hard back to your commander and say the queen comes to repel the foe. Your grace. Begging your pardon, our force. We aren't many. Let's send for reinforcements first, elsewise. Reynard, I've seen Nilfgaard's trebuchets at work. Should we delay until we're stronger, they'll leave no stone standing in Dravagrad. We must ride for the town at once. As her men prepared to march, Meave climbed the manor's That's tower. That's a cool shot. Smoke rose in columns in the distance. As more black pillars appeared one after the other, she knew they meant another home, another barn, another mill was in flames. Tears welled in her eyes, yet they were tears of anger. Bastards. If it's the angry tears that sting whenever they come out. Reynard. Prepare to ride. Prepare the mounts. Ooh, Rivian broadsword. I wonder what the difference is. Damn, this town got fucked. But now I shall take its spoils. First bandits, now this. Misfortune does indeed come knocking twice. Mm. In hobnail boots, tramping upon my land. Nilfgaard shall regret this. I swear on all that is sacred and blessed. Amir just can't keep it in his pants to save his life. Let's see if we can't go get that chest. Got a report. Oh. Ah, can't go that way. Okay, let's spend some money to get some locations revealed to us. Let's see if we can't get around that way. 
Oh, Suddenly, Jesus. Meave's force found itself marching straight towards a Nilfgaardian company. To the Queen's surprise, or should I say, the invaders oh, did not immediately assume battle formation. They proceeded instead in her very direction without a sign of panic. The man leading the Nilfgaardians was clad in rich robes. He exuded pride. Of course he was. And the scent of musk. I am Traherne Var Vdifir, Your Majesty. I was asked to present your esteemed grace. I the about had a stroke just listening to that. What did you say? Empire of Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard. E I am the an asshole. Cracked the seal on a scroll, unfurled it, took a deep breath, and began to read. I, General Ardal Epdahi, demand the immediate and unconditional surrender of Lyria and Rivia. Elsewise, I will burn down every city, town, village, and temple, place all your subjects in chains, and your armed men, defeated and captured, I will hang along the roadsides as a warning to all others in the barbarous north. As the final threat echoed in Meeve's How about ears, shove it up your ass, the envoy Amir. put away the scroll and stood waiting for her answer, a mocking smile on his face. He allowed himself this insolence, believing the immunity accorded diplomats would shield him from any form of royal ire. Hmm. I thank you, sir. A sophisticated missive that proves beyond a doubt Nilfgaard's superiority over the culturally backward north answered the queen in a voice frostier than Mahakam's snow-capped peaks. To delay this matter, I see no reason, so I give you my response to his excellency. Was that the bad Go answer ahead again? Go try, Horson. That said, Meade okay, no. her mouth with her reins and galloped away, leaving the Nilf guardians in dust. Envoy and escort turned to go whence they came, the Lyrians sending them off with a din of whistles and curses. I was afraid that was going to make my morale go down. Hmm. How to get to that chest, I wonder. Probably got to go at it from over here or some shit. Post. Get some resources. A few more things for the notice board. That's a battle down there. Wonder if it's another creature. Probably. Either that or Nilfgaard now that we've got to him. Oh, is this how they got in? Through the crumpled wall in the back? Yeah, maybe fix that. That might help. Pray to boost morale, because that's how it works. <laughs> uh, the elf guard is just right fucking there. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> good to know that they're literally just like two steps away from me after they literally just declared war on my ass well 
didn't declare war. They warned me, but then I told them to go shove it. Because I know what happens to Nilfgaard, depending on your choices in The Witcher 3, so fuck it. Golden chest. Another card that I'm not going to use. You've discovered a card that can be used in the Gwent multiplayer card game. Yep. Let's see what I can do. Ooh, this is new. Ah, the training grounds. Okay. Let's see what I can do in the command tent. Rivian Broadsword. Damage an enemy unit and all other enemies with the same power by four. Then trigger all allies' loyal abilities. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna give that a try. Sounds good. Working shop. Let's go ahead and get that. Get off of my phone. Workshop has been upgraded. Yay. Ooh, the crushing trap. I really like those. But who to get rid of? the unit to the right and boost itself by its power. If it's an artifact, boost itself by current power instead. I'm good for now.
we'll do just a tad bit more exploring. And then I think we'll call it. Where's... Oh, God. Mission's all the way over there. Jesus Christ. We can see what this mission is. My lady, the toilers formerly under Lord Clayton's service was to join your army. In a few hours, I can teach them which end of the spade to point at the enemy. It's simply a matter of coin. Sure, I need more people. I can get you gold like it's nothing. Almost. Almost like it's nothing. Okay, what we'll do, or what I'll do, is I'll fast travel over here so that the next time we come to this, we can clear out this whole area over here. That's what the next episode will be. Alright, well that was a pretty eventful stream. The end... The end of Ori of the Blind Forest and the start to Thronebreaker. Definitely a lot more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought it was just like, you know, story-based Gwent. But I guess that's... Gwent. <laughs> I definitely have... I don't know if there's a difference between the actual Gwent game and the Gwent in The Witcher 3. But I'm definitely having a lot more fun with this game, the way it's set up, than I am with... than I do with actual Gwent in the game. Like, I'm having, like, way more fun with this than I am anything else. Than I was actual Gwent. Than I ever had with actual Gwent. But then I think it's mostly because, A, it's, it's, I chose easy baby bitch mode, and it's taking it easy on me. And, granted, most of the battles that I did fight in this stream, I did just skip after I got my ass handed to me. So I guess I have that crutch to fall back on. But hey, anything for more Witcher content on this channel. Because I didn't, un unfortunately I didn't, ex I didn't export my Witcher 3 playthrough to YouTube to get that on there. But then now I have this, so maybe that'll get some people looking at it. But yes, thank you all for coming out. I very much appreciate the people who dropped by. I appreciate Sloth for staying here as long as he did. <laughs> and once again, I am sorry for getting you back onto your Witcher 3... Witcher 3 High. I'm very sorry. But yes, thank you all for coming out. And I now leave you with the parting middle finger that Dink has so graciously provided us. Good night, you fuzzy, hard-to-reach nasal lint. It kind of sounds uncomfortable to have lint in your nose. But sure. <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you next time.